What's going on guys? Today we are going to be updating the theme team tier list. I couldn't tell you when the last theme team tier list video was uploaded, but all I know is that yeah, we're definitely definitely do here. I, I've been kind of slacking on the theme team tier list, I can't lie. One of the reasons I was kind of holding off on making this video, I mean obviously it's kind of a stupid reason, but I didn't really know how to attack the free agency cards that came out about two weeks ago. You know, guys like Randall Cunningham, All Team Kemps, Evan Ingram, Chandler Jones, Marcus May. Obviously, Devontae Adams is probably the most popular out of all these dudes. I wasn't too sure how I wanted to, you know, attack these cards because they can fit on any of these theme teams. And I think I'm just going to treat them the same way that I treat, you know, season masters and, you know, team captains where, yeah, you can add all these dudes to theme teams, but I'm just going to act like they don't really exist in the game unless, you know, for example, Devontae is on the Raiders and the Packers for these tier lists. So that's kind of how I'm tackling this. But yeah, just know all these cards are just amazing cheats for every single theme team. Say you have a, I'm not really too sure, but say you have like a Panthers team, for example, and they're slacking at maybe tight end. Throw Evan Ingram on that team because he's a pretty good tight end. So I didn't want to address that. But um, yeah, before we hop into it, we do have just a quick word from our sponsor. Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard earned money on Madden and 2K packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMO EXP, for the cheapest and the most reliable Madden coins and 2KMT on the market. A link for their website will be right at the top of the description. And do not forget to use code FURTY for 5% off. Okay, so here is the updated theme team tier list. As we always do, we are going to go over the top 10 theme teams in the game. And it, I was kind of torn. I was kind of torn between the Chiefs and our number 10 team on today's list. But we have the Chiefs, the Broncos, the Falcons at A tier. All very good theme teams. And by the way, I do rate these teams as 50-50s. So, yeah, you've got to be kind of deep to be high up on the tier list. Because I like the Lions theme team a lot. But as a 50-50, they're not practical. As a 25, they're pretty good. But as a 50-50, they're not as great. But A tier, we got Chiefs, Broncos, Falcons, B tier, Washington football team. Oh, no, no, they're the commanders now. Commanders, my logos are a little bit outdated. I do apologize. But um, you can blame whoever made this tier maker. But yeah, Bengals, uh, Packers, Browns, Dolphins at B tier, C tier. We got Saints, Giants, Steelers, Buccaneers, Lions, D tier. We have, unfortunately, the Jets. Hurts me to put the Jets this low, but they are getting very outdated. So D tier, Jets, Eagles, Jaguars, E tier. We have Chargers, Colts, and Panthers. And F tier is going to be the Texans. The Bills are somehow a bad theme team. I don't know how. I feel like both the Bills and the Bears, I mean, they should have better cards in this game. I'm surprised at how low both these teams are. As far as, like, the Texans, like, the Jets, like, those teams, I kind of expect it. But, man, like, dude, the Bills and the Bears that low? I mean, that doesn't really make sense to me. And, I mean, especially the Bears. The Bears have been around for a very long time. I mean, they're a pretty historic franchise in the NFL. And yeah, I don't know how they don't have, you know, better legends. I don't really know. But yeah, the first team we're looking at today coming in at that number 10 spot is the Baltimore Ravens theme team. Okay, so here is the Ravens theme team. If I were rocking this team, I would probably, I'd probably run it like this. Maybe like this. I don't really know. I mean, Sanders isn't awful, but I'd probably rock it like this. Yeah, I actually do have Randall Cunningham on this team, but yeah, you see why. I like this team so much. I was torn, like I said, between the Chiefs and this team, but it was Steve McNair. I mean, the receivers, I mean, they're solid, but it was Steve McNair was having Ricky Williams, who's also a really slept on card in this game, who, who's really good. But it was the defense for me. You have Deion Sanders, Marlon Humphrey, Bernard Pollard. You have Ed Reed. You have Ray Lewis, Mosley. You have Calais Campbell out there. So Judon, like you have good edge pressure too. So a really, really good team. I think this one's pretty easy. I mean... Could you, could you really debate this team S tier? Maybe, man. You maybe might be able to. I mean, with McNair, they're like one receiver away. And I don't think it could be like a Steve Smith. I'm not sure what Ravens receiver would have to come out for them to be in the S tier. But yeah, I don't think it would be like a guy like Steve Smith who's like 5'9". It would have to be like a big body receiver. I can't really think of any. Maybe like Jacoby Jones. Is he even? I, I mean, maybe Jacoby Jones. I doubt he gets a card this year, though. I, I feel like we're definitely past that point. But um, maybe maybe a golden ticket Dion though. Low key, low key golden ticket Dion. But yeah, their corners go crazy. They have Justin Tucker as well, which I don't really, you know, that's it's whatever. But yeah, Ravens theme team. They're gonna be going at number ten for today, right in front of the Kansas City Chiefs. So coming in at number nine, we have the Seattle Seahawks theme team. So 
This is a theme team that was really hot for a good part of the year and they're obviously staying up in the top 10 for that reason because they had so many upgrades for a good portion of the year like maybe like a month ago they ate like at once every two to three days the seahawks were getting like a good receiver a good corner they were going crazy i mean now they still have gotten some good upgrades like edron james necessary upgrade for them russell wilson huge upgrade and i was talking about this the other night on stream and yes it could be just because i've been facing a lot more randall cunningham's but i feel like whenever i face russ for some reason he always hits tough throws under pressure. And Randall Cunningham, I've seen him miss a ton of throws on the run. And I'm like, was that under pressure? But it wasn't under pressure. It was just Randall Cunningham just sailing a throw on the run. So I'm not sure what it is. But from what I've seen, Russell Wilson has been playing better for people. But it also could be because I just see a lot more Randall Cunningham throws. So it's obviously like going to be like a larger sample size. But all I know is whenever I face Russ, he goes off on me. But for receiver for the Seahawks, I think right now I'd probably run it like something like this maybe. Percy Harvin was good and he's still good. If you don't care about the height and you need like a kind of a you know slot dude, go with him. But at this point, everyone's kind of caught up to his speed. He's nothing special. So I would run the two route runners, Jerry and Josh Gordon. And yeah, you also have Brandon Marshall and 100% of DK Metcalf upgrade coming this year. So they should eat there. Their offensive weapons are, are good. I mean, all O-line, not the greatest, but you can definitely find some cheats for that. On defense, at safety, you got Quandre Diggs. I would 100% try to find a cheat for this. But two good safeties here in Cam Chancellor, Jimmy Graham. You have Jadavian Clowney, you have Dwight Freeney, you got Kevin Williams, so good good guys in the interior. You got LeVon Kirkland. I probably would just run Bobby Wagner, KJ Wright. So a bunch of, I mean, they got good depth, so is what I'm trying to say. And DJ Reed is technically the number one, but he's 5'9, so I'd probably run him at number three behind Sherman and Sean Springs. I mean, you could run Reed, man. I don't I don't know. I think it's much scarier to run a 5'9 corner than it is to run a 5'9 receiver for sure. That's how I feel. But they also have Devin Hester down here, the out of position cornerback. But that is the Seattle Seahawks. A really nice theme team. Really good right now. And also crazy potential at receiver to end the year. I mean, that's why they were, that's, that's kind of why they ate. They got like eight receivers in a row. They got so many receivers in a row earlier in the year. So we're going to throw the Seattle Seahawks theme team right up here at number nine next to the Ravens. So coming in at number eight, we have the New England Patriots theme team. And it was close between Seattle and the Patriots. It was very close. I think at the end of the day, for me, it came down to the receivers and how the Patriots already have their receivers and the Seahawks are waiting for receiver upgrades. If I were running this theme team, I'd probably run it just like this. I'd run Randy, Chad Johnson, Josh Gordon. I would run it just like that. Maybe run it like this, because if you're running a full, yeah, if you're running full New England, Josh Gordon is like 6'3", like 220. He's insane. So maybe you want to run it like that because you are you already are getting 99 speed with full strat cards. But you got Cordero Patterson. You got Fred Taylor. Two ridiculous running backs. Brady. You could also run Gen 3 Cam Newton who's kind of been slept on with guys like, you know, Randall Cunningham and Russell Wilson coming out. He's still a 6'5 Gen 3 quarterback who's pretty damn good. So you got Cam Newton there. On, oh, yes, let's still Gronk. O-line's good. On defense, though, we got Logan Ryan. That's a good name right there. We got Randy Moss, obviously, Sean Springs, and then you can, I'd probably run Talib here in this slot, but Seymour's next upgrade is gonna be amazing. I mean, his legend card is still amazing. So looking forward to a Seymour upgrade. Vince Wilfork in the middle, obviously insane. You got you got a Chandler Jones on this team and Matthew Judon. So Patriots, it was close between the two. I could definitely see this, you know, the Seahawks overthrowing the Patriots at some point this year. But for now, we're going to throw the Patriots uh, right up here at number eight. I do think, yes, they beat Seattle by just a little bit. So coming in at number, what is this, number seven. Coming in at number seven, we have our final A-tier theme team, and that is the Cardinals. They were really good. They were really high for a good amount of the year. Um, if I liked Chris Johnson, they might be S-tier, but like I'm not the biggest Chris Johnson dude. You, you do have guys like Edger and James down here. That's why I feel like them and like the Seahawks are very similar. So you got Larry Fitzgerald, who... If you are going to run a full Cardinals team, he's a really good card. Patrick Peterson, also a good card on, on the theme team. Kind of get to 99 speed, which is pretty nice. You have good offensive line. Leonard Davis, Dan Deardorff, Alan Fanica, Ronnie, uh, Ronnie Houston. You can still run, obviously. Got Zach Ertz up there. Leonard Davis, uh, tight end if you want to. On defense, you got Night Train Lane, who I love. Larry Wilson, Isaiah Simmons, Chandler Jones, JJ Watt, Calais Campbell. They got a bunch of pretty crazy names. So I think, yeah, the Cardinals... Mainly because just how deep they are, man. They're so deep, and you got dudes like Isaiah Simmons who, on a theme team, are just endgame. Like, Isaiah Simmons, you, if you bought him in December, 
like I said back then when this card came out, you could literally run him until Madden 23 if you wanted to. So, yeah, Cardinals theme team, I think they're just outside of S tier. I'm going to put them at high A tier for sure, though. I don't know if you could actually debate them S tier. I don't know if you could really pull up any of the teams in A tier up to S tier. I don't know if you could. I don't know because all of them kind of have their holes. So before we get into S tier, I do want to talk about the Backyard Ballers theme team. And they're not going to be put on the tier list because I don't think anyone in their right mind is running a 50-50 Backyard Ballers team. If you are, I'd probably move off of them because a lot of these players don't need 50-50. But I did want to talk about them. And yeah, they're a good team, man. You got Rick, you got Trayvon Diggs, Peyton Manning, three good running backs. I do think this is a really fun team to run 25. Like I've seen a lot of, you know, maybe 25 Bengals, 25 Browns teams, and then also... They throw on 25 backer ballers. I've seen that a lot. And they got some good players, man. Maybe not so much on offense. I mean, I like Micah Parsons. Their receivers, they're probably not going to age that well. But on defense, they're insane. You got Randy Moss. You got Stephon Diggs. I like these two. I, I probably like it like this in this order for the cornerbacks. Um, You also got Jimmy Graham, who's still a top three safety in the game. Julio Jones, probably another top three safety in the game. Barry Sanders, insane off the edge. Tyree Kill, a great user if you are going to use middle linebackers. So... The Backyard Ballers team is a really good team that, you know, you could run 50-50. It just, it just doesn't make any sense. I just don't recommend it. And as far as where they land on the tier list, I feel like they kind of land as like a, maybe like a mid to high B tier theme team if you were to run them 50-50. But like I said, they are much better as a 25-25. Okay, so now we have our first S tier theme team of the day. And I feel like this team right here is a little bit slept on. I don't really know. I don't see too many uh, Vikings teams out there, but they're really good. You got three good receivers. Like a guy like Stephon Diggs, maybe not the greatest, you know, but on a 50 Vikings team, he's really good. 99 speed, good build, good route running, good animation. So, you, you I mean, you could run it like this if you want to, but you still got three good receivers. If you want to run Percy Harvin, that option's there too. Devontae Adams, obviously. But yeah, Cordero Patterson, they actually do get Randall Cunningham. Cordero Patterson, just amazing. Any theme team he plays for, I love. 240, good speed, good size, can do all things. So really good offense. You got Brian McKinney. You got Riley. You got pretty good offensive line. I would probably just cheat on like Garrett and Wyatt Davis. Um, also good tight end. I mean, you could use a guy like Evan Ingram or Pat Fryermuth, but Christopher Hearn is not bad on a theme team. For defense, their free safety is, I guess, a hole, but they cover it up very well. You got guys like Anthony Barr. You got dudes like Harrison Smith, Stephon Diggs, and Randy Moss, not only at receiver, but also at cornerback i'd probably run patrick peterson here at number three but that's a really good team and you got daniel hunter who's still a really good pass rusher in this game so i think without question the vikings team they got enough firepower not only on offense but also on defense to be our first s tier theme team of the day so coming in at number five we have the la rams theme team they obviously ate from the super bowl promo and they got joe name they got dickerson they got west i'd probably run west in like the slot but a really good theme team, and I do want to say these next three teams, the Rams and the two teams after this, they're all really close. We're kind of at that point of the list where you got to start splitting hairs to kind of get these rankings done. But the Rams are good. You got Cooper Cub, you got Wes, you got Odell. Like I said, Dickerson, name it. Solid, solid tight ends, but you know Ingram, Ingram does exist. You got Austin, you got two cold 99 offensive linemen for literally no reason. On defense, you got Night Train, you got to keep to leave David Long. You got Nick Scott, you got Eric Weddle, who should be getting an upgrade, at least one more to end the year for sure. You got Elroy, you got Aaron Donald, you got Brockers, who actually does play pretty well. Young Blood, Yvonne Miller, Clay Matthews. So yeah, the Rams theme team, they're really good. They've been good since the Super Bowl and the playoff promo. They've been eating. I mean, there was a good portion of the year where they just got to work, man. So yeah, Rams coming in at number five, right in front of the Vikings theme team. So coming in at number four with surprise to really no one, we have another S tier appearance for the 49ers. It's almost every single year that you can guarantee the Niners, the Cowboys, and the Raiders are going to be S tier theme teams. Every single year, that's just how it works. EA knows what teams and what players make the money. And also, and also, yeah, a lot of the, you know, the legend players, they played for the Niners. They played for the Raiders. They played for the Cowboys back in the day. So yeah, we, we do have the Niners theme team and also the Niners are pretty damn good right now. So you got Trey Lance with Gen 3. You got Trent Williams at fullback. You could also run use check if you want to. Jerry Rice, Debo Samuel, Randy Moss. You have a good tight end. So good receivers, good quarterback, even a good fullback. Uh, the running back is technically kind of a hole. I will say that. Trent Williams definitely due for one more upgrade, though. You got Larry Allen, Alex Mack, Leonard Davis, Trent Brown. And on defense, 
they're kind of insane. You got Randy, you got Dion as well. I would probably run Sherman here instead of DJ Reed. But yeah, Ronnie Lott over the top. They do have Taylor Mays actually did play for the Niners. You got the Forrest Buckner, Vernon Willis, Nick Bosa will go more upgrade this year. So not only are they really good right now, they also have really, really good potential. So yeah, coming in at number four is the San Francisco 49ers theme team. And coming in at number three, we have the Raiders. You are going to see a lot of similar names between the Raiders and the Niners. For some reason, back in the day, if you played for the Niners, you probably played for the Raiders and vice versa. I don't know why, but that was a thing, I guess. The Raiders theme team, though, really good right now. Like, you got Randy, you have Amari Cooper, Jerry Rice, but also pretty insane potential. I'm telling you right now, the next Bo Jackson upgrade is going to be kind of crazy because I would not be surprised if there are people willing to run Bo Nose. Bo Nose is going to be crazy. If they keep raising the AP and they don't raise the AP for Bo Nose, hey, it might be worth running. I can't even lie. It might be worth running. And Bo Nose, if you don't know what it is, yeah, I mean, it was nasty until they kind of, they, they did raise the AP on it. That was how they nerfed it. But now that the AP is rising, people kind of forgot about it. And the next UL Bo Jackson that comes out with Bo Nose built in is just going to be disgusting but they got Dickerson now they got Marcus Allen and they have Cordell Patterson so three good backs right now while you wait for Bo Jackson I guess offensive line wise you are gonna have to cheat a little bit you got Leatherwood though you got Trent Brown Waller Waller's still probably one or two right now in the game Waller's still amazing at 6'6 he's amazing but you got Mariota too who's actually a pretty good quarterback but we all know you know Randall exists but Mariota's good slinger one good speed good you know pretty good abilities but that's the Raiders offense and on defense they got Randy they got Charles I almost put the Niners over them because I love Deion Sanders in this game I almost did it but the Raiders are just too they're just too well-rounded I mean they got Ted too they got Ronnie Lott they also again have Taylor Mays Casey Hayward um you got Max Crosby Warren Sapp who's probably due for one more upgrade so you have some really good cards and then Khalil Mack on the off the edge as well and also KJ Wright who really is kind of like his own guy I think he is but yeah that is the Raiders theme team Coming in at number three, and like I said, between the Raiders, the Niners, and the Rams, you can really pick any of these three teams. I'll hear debates for any of them. I would probably say like the Niners and the Raiders have the upper hand, but I, I think the Raiders team just has a slight advantage over the Niners team. I think they have just a slight advantage in my opinion. So we are now down to our final two teams, and I guess to create a little bit of suspense, we're down to the Titans and the Cowboys. And coming in at number two, this one might be a surprise because they've been king for the whole year is the Dallas Cowboys theme team. They're coming in at number two. And it's kind of crazy because they're really, really good. Amari Cooper, Jimmy Smith, Trayvon Diggs, Mike Ditka, good offensive line, Randall Cunningham, in my opinion, who's the best running back in the game, Micah Parsons. You got Pollard as well on defense. You got Dion. You got Byron Jones too. You could also run Trayvon there if you don't want to use a 5'9 corner, but you got versatility. But the reason why they're not number one is for the safeties because they're really good everywhere else. They're really good everywhere else. And on my theme team tier list, like I said, I'm not going to factor in dudes like Taylor Mays or Cam Chancellor or even Marcus May that can cover up this hole for them. But I mean, they're just so good everywhere else. And I feel like if this was like any other team, they'd be a little bit lower. But they got so many crazy names on this team. Demarcus Ware, Micah Parsons, Robert Quinn, Randy Gregory, Demarcus Lawrence, Ed Too Tall. Like they're just insanely deep. So yeah Cowboys theme team coming in at number two even though they have a pretty blatant hole at safety they're at number two man that team is their team is crazy receivers running backs at quarterback offensive line tight end just amazing all around and finally last but not least we have the Titans theme team and the rise for this theme team has honestly been insane I, I it's happened over like a week and a half two weeks but they've just gotten so so good it's actually insane so at running back I would run Derrick Henry. I'm not a big Chris Johnson guy, but I would run Derrick Henry. His height, his weight, his speed on this team's amazing. Kind of forgotten about too, it feels like, because I don't see much of him. But he's pretty nasty. I'm at receiver. I'd probably go Charlie Joyner if you want better run block, and you can go Andre, who's also due for another upgrade probably real soon. I mean, they haven't started upgrading Team Diamonds yet, but I would expect it within like the next month or month and a half. Andre Johnson's final cards would be pretty good too. Size, run blocking, speed, route running, all that stuff in one build. Uh, you have Randy, you have Julio, you got Wycheck at tight end. You could also run Jared Cook or the Cheat. This Bernard Pollard fullback card is insane. You got Steve McNair. O line wise, you got basically, I mean, maybe two to three solid names up there. On defense, though, they've also gotten a word. You got Logan Ryan. Also, you got Julio. I mean, you, I'd probably run Julio over him. You got Ken, who's like 6'3 and not the fastest, but on a theme team, obviously, he does get a little bit faster. 
The brand new Bernard Pollard card is insane. If you do run like a 6-1 where you have to use linebackers, Dayon Brown is a really good option. Good speed, can play man, can play zone, can even press, I think. The card's actually insane. Brian Arapko there. You got Jadavian Clowney to play on the Titans. You got Randy Moss. You got Desmond Kane. I'd probably run Christian Fulton because you got to choose between Logan Ryan. I mean, you could run Logan Ryan if you do have a guy like, say, maybe Taylor Mays up there. You could run Logan Ryan, and he does have a redux now, but Christian Fulton's a six-foot corner who actually has some good stats and on a theme team he plays insane so that is the titans theme team they've gone crazy and diving yeah i think i did mention steve mcnair but obviously steve mcnair is insane we all saw you know how crazy that card is but that is the titans they are coming in at number one and rounding out today's tier list so our top 10 or top five theme teams today titans cowboys raiders niners and rams i mean it's kind of the same thing every year we're at the we're kind of at the end of the year where it's going to be tough for teams to jump i mean somehow the titans did it in like in like two weeks like i said but that is our top five but i don't think we're going to see that much more movement to end the year i really don't i think you know the niners and the raiders are going to eat that's inevitable probably the cowboys too but i don't really know a team that might rise like what's kind of like a dark horse team maybe the buccaneers because they, they usually get some pretty good cards ah dude i don't really know maybe like yeah i don't know Oh, the Jets are probably going to eat two to end the year as well. They still got like guys like Revis, Ty Law, um, Kevin Mawai. You got, you know, Brandon Marshall. I think Keyshawn Johnson will be the best receiver to end the year, a 6'4 route runner. So the Jets could eat as well. Also the Giants too, you know, getting guys like Brandon Marshall, dudes like that. But that is going to do it for the theme team tier list. As always, if you have any disagreements or if you want to drop a comment, drop it down below. I do read every single comment. And if you are new here, hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications. And as always, I will see you boys in the next one. And if you are still watching to this point in the video, say the Bears were done dirty and they should be at least a high A tier theme team. Comment that down below. Say the Bears should be a high A tier theme team down in the comment section so I see who is still watching the video up to this point. But uh, yeah, yeah, for real this time. I'll see you boys in the next one.